What's up agents and welcome back to another division video. We're just dropping in at Lincoln Memorial because we want to test something out. We're going to put it on heroic and I'm going to show you that they have made some changes on the PTS to the mechanical animal. Uh, if we scroll down to the bottom here now you can see weapon kills grant one plus skill tier for 90 seconds and it stacks up to four times weapon kills at skill tier six grant overcharge for 15 seconds meaning on your build you only have to have two yellow cores to be able to max this out which is really really nice now obviously you've got some options here technician is the obvious one because you get one from that and then obviously we can just put on the memento and we get one that's skill tier there as well but what you can think about is i don't think i've got one on me i've not used one in such a long time uh, but you could drop one of these out perhaps you could drop the memento out if you're running in a group and run the strikers backpack and you could run a picaro's holster which you could put yellow on and still get 15 percent weapon damage as well uh, you can see from this build regular strikers build but what i have put in there is my striker drone that's currently sat already at skill tier three which is you know super super nice i'm super happy about that and we're going to see where it actually goes uh, why is it sat at skill tier 3 though? That is the question. We've got one skill tier here, one skill tier here, and we shouldn't have any other skill tiers. Skill tier 3. Oh, you get one by default. Okay, there we go. Of course. Of course. That's, that's stupid of me. So, yeah, so we get the one by default, then we've gone up two more tiers. So, I was in a group for a second, somebody joined me. Uh, then we must have wanted to be in the video so let's check it out and see what it's like now this gun isn't exactly top tier but i'm wondering with the fact that we can have you know a tier 6 shield and we can have a really good assault drone is that going to make up for damage and survivability i did spend some time maxing this thing out on the expertise bench because expertise is super super cheap now And you can see already the drone is putting in the work. And it's actually a nice distraction as well. The shield survivability is great. Got a visual on additional hostiles in the memorial compound. They're moving south. There's a gate between you. I actually feel a little bit tankier than normal because, you know, I've got some blue protection on me as well. This is going to make for some really interesting uh, hybrid builds. And I'm hitting for 700k. And I don't, I've not even really built up my Memento completely either. I'm like halfway on damage on that as well. Actually really nice. I'm very actually more impressed than I thought I was going to be. They haven't managed to break my shield. Guys trying to get me demonetized. If anything kind of runs off, you can just send the shield, or send the drone to to do its stuff. cooldown super short because we've got the memento buffs playing into it as well and if his grenades will break my shield nope not even close it's a really good example there on the video i'm glad i got that in 
because this is great. So if you're wondering in a little bit more detail what I was running, we're running the Memento because that uh, gives us a little bit of skill efficiency. Don't forget, it gives us a blue core and it gives us a yellow core as well, which is nice. Uh, then, which obviously both play towards shield, so if you look at the shield, you can see the, the yellow and the blue core, both helping that out. And on the drone, you can see it's just the, uh, ah yeah, shield tier 2, that's correct, and that's what I thought. Skill tier 2 is just the yellow, so making it really, really easy to get both of these all the way up to the overcharge state. The gun itself, assault rifle, health damage, damage target recover with future perfection. You can see then on the bottom, we was running crit chance, crit chance, and magazine, so that's fine. And you know, you can see here crit damage, crit chance on the gloves, crit damage, oh, sorry, weapon damage, crit damage, knees, weapon damage, crit chance, and on the holster, weapon damage, critical hit damage. The group or chest piece, crit chance, crit damage, crit chance in the mod slot with obliterate, everybody's favorite. And them stats left us at 55 crit chance and 108 critical hit damage. But yeah, I mean, it made the shield pretty, pretty, pretty tanky. I'm very impressed with that. Uh, the build as a whole was great. And, you know, although the SIG isn't, you know, the, the best damaging gun in the game, it chunks because it's, you know, 140k nearly on this build. It's got a pretty good RPM and it's got 50 in the mag. So... Not terrible, not terrible. And it's going to bring a lot of other options, I think, for, you know, not just like the simple all red build like I'm running here. I think we're going to see a lot more hybrid builds uh, and a lot more options there. I did put this gun on. I always run the TDR card um, as well. Uh, obviously, that has a skill tier, so that could make things even more spicy uh, if you want to think about it. And it could make it even more spicy because we could just run the, the Picaro's holster and, you know, maybe pick up the striker's chest piece but i really don't think that this is hitting fast enough uh, to be able to to do that at all so that's going to be it for the video let me know in the comments what you think is this going to be spicy or is it not is it going to be hybrid builds making a bit of a comeback and no one's really talking about them too much in this next patch there's a lot of other things that we need to be talking about with project resolve but uh, let me know in the comments what you think down below don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you for all your support recently. You guys have been crazy. So I really do appreciate it. And it really does help me out by you commenting, liking the video and obviously subscribing as well. Thanks very much agents. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.